Corby. Today, we are doing my very first episode of Recipe Replay. Recipe Replay is where I take a recipe that I've tried, that you might find at popular establishments, family recipes, and I put my own little twist on it. So, let's get rolling. Just don't let it go, cause it ain't no getting off till we get it. Just don't let it go, cause it Today's recipe replay is a, a dish that I grew up on that my hero, my father, cooked very frequently at home. We are a Polish family, and my dad makes gumpies, stuffed cabbage. And I am going to recreate it. I'm going to put my little twist on it, add a couple different things that I don't think that he put in it, if I can remember correctly. So I'm going to get some water going on the stove. I'm going to get the cabbage boiled. So I can get the leaves peeled off and then we'll mix up the ingredients. So right here I got um, two heads of cabbage. Um, what I'm going to do, so I don't, I don't core them. Um, I leave them, I leave the cores in while I boil them. That way it all stays together in the water. I got the water boiling on the oven here. Just got, it's lightly salted water, just getting ready to bring it up to a boil. Um, so what I do is I put these in the water, I let them, I let them boil, let them loosen up. And as they get soft, I individually just I just cut the leaf off the core, and then I'll pull it out and drain and let it cool before I handle it. So I'm going to set these back here. Now I've got about two and a half pounds of ground beef. That's what I'm going to start with. Um, just my garbage bowl right here, so I can throw trash away as I go. What I'm going to start with is one whole yellow onion. I know for a fact. Then my father put onion in his recipe, so I'm going to do it. Get to check out the knife skills while I'm working. That doesn't belong in there. All right, just going to chop it in half. Get some of this top layer off. Onions have layers and ogres have layers and parfaits have layers. Did you know that? Heard it somewhere. Let me get the second what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice it across a couple times up the onion. This is how I dice or chop an onion. Then down, first horizontal, then vertical. Keep your fingers out of the way. You don't want to lose a fingertip. And then I just come down and I chop it up. I'll do the same thing to the other one. What I like to do is I like to keep part of the root still intact so the onion doesn't separate. Helps to have a pretty decently sharp knife. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right on top of the, the hamburger here. Oh, that one didn't get cut. That's not going to Does one whole yellow onion. I am pretty sure that my father never put in his recipe was peppers. I don't I don't think he put in green and red peppers, so I am gonna I'm gonna add those. Lock the top off, cut it in half, get rid of the seeds and the ribs. Do the same thing to the red one. I mean, if a couple seeds make it into it, it's not a real big deal. It won't kill you. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, slice these. Then I'm going to chop them.
And just do the same thing with the red ones. Garlic. Got a ball of garlic here. Probably going to take about uh, three or four cloves out of this. Give it a smash. Makes it a little easier to take apart. So, all right, I'm going to mince these garlic up. So what I do is I just take each one, smash them to get the skins off. These papers out of here. Wrong papers, but papers nonetheless. Get these skins off of here. Really, I wish I could hire somebody to just stand here and peel garlic all day for me. That would be amazing. Can't pay you much, but you can eat whatever I cook. Tell you what, though, the hands smell pretty good when you're done, in my opinion. I'm going to ask my wife because she doesn't like the smell of garlic anymore, apparently. I probably could use a jarred garlic, but I like the fresh stuff better. I mean, in a bind, you know, not in a bind, but middle of the week. Don't feel like slicing it? Buy a jar. Nobody's going to know. Now, this uh, this recipe that my dad made, I mean, he made it a couple times a month, if I can remember correctly. And uh, it was just one of the meals you look forward to. I mean, he st I, I still have him. He's still with me. We had a close call with him last year. Um, he had a, you know, a couple health scares, but he's, he's good right now. He's back and healthy. All right, so that was about four cloves of garlic. I'm just going to throw that right in there.
that's what my dad said. And that's how I always hate him. So I am going to get this mixed up. I'm going to put it in the fridge, let it melt together, wash my hands up, and then we will get started on the cabbage. <laughs> So I peeled all the cabbage leaves off the entire head of the cabbage. And what I already started to do is you can take the cabbage leaf, you want to cut the hard stem out. Just so it's not so chewy because this takes a while to cook. I do keep these, and I'll show you why in a minute. When I pan them up, I'll show you why I keep them. So I'm just going to get the rest of these done right here. It's like three left. Just cut the inside out, and I set them aside. And they're cool enough to handle. I waited long enough. I waited about 10, 15 minutes for they were cool enough to handle before I could touch them. So I have here some of the leaves that didn't quite make the cut. Just a little too torn or just, I don't know, maybe overdone. So what I'd like to do is I like to layer them on the bottom of the pan. Just to give the, the stuffed ones something to sit on. Alright, so what I did was I just layered them in the, the bottom of the pan, so you can see that right there maybe. I'm going to set this aside, and we are going to start rolling up the cabbage. Alright, so we're going to take a cabbage leaf, lay it here on the board. Well, maybe we'll do it this way. We have a nice, nice handful. Put it in the middle, roll up the sides, and then roll. That one's a little split, but you get the point. We're going to put it in seam side down, and then we will head on to the next. Depends on the size of the cabbage leaf, is, you know, how much meat you're going to put in it. Get a little smaller one, yeah. Put a little less. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, I'm gonna get the knock. I'm gonna get the rest of these knocked out, and I'll get back to you as soon as I got them all wrapped. So I got the rest of the cabbage rolled up. Um, I got about 12 cabbage rolls out of those two heads of lettuce, uh, two heads of cabbage, sorry. Now what I like to do with the rest of the leftover hamburger mixture, is I just like to take it and sprinkle it over the top. Get it down in some of the cracks and the crevices that are between the pieces. 
kind of acts like a, I don't know, heat deflector maybe so it doesn't burn the top of the, the cabbage. Just going to go ahead and get the rest of this in here. And then with the rest of the leftover cabbage that I didn't use, I like to chop it up, chunk it up. Take some of those pieces of the stems, chop them up. And just uh, throw them around inside. Doesn't really matter, there's no specific order. Just kind of put them wherever. Let this sit right here, and then uh, we're going to make the tomato sauce real quick. That I'm going to put over the top of this. Be right back. So here's the, the ingredients for the sauce that we're going to pour over the top of the cabbage. We've got about two and a half tablespoons of sugar, about a third of a cup of white vinegar, it's going to be about, I think, a teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of some freshly cracked black pepper, maybe more than a teaspoon. Like it peppery. I always grew up with it that way. Hey, I'm gonna give this a wh a whisk. Hope I didn't splatter any on myself. I usually like to have a little extra sauce, so if this doesn't cover it all, I might use another can of tomato sauce. This was um one and a half. 28 ounce cans. So one full 28 ounce can and then a half one. So let me get the uh, pumpkin back over here and we will cover them in the sauce. Give me a second. Alright, so here is the sauce. Here are the stuffed cabbage or the galumkies. Sorry. We're going to take this and we're going to pour it right over the top. Doesn't look like that's gonna be enough. Grab a spoon real quick. Doesn't look like it's gonna be enough tomato sauce. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna open the other can of sauce, mix it up real quick with some more vinegar and some pepper and some salt, and we'll get it poured out. Here. So I got the extra can of tomato sauce and the other ingredients over the top of this. So it, it does look a lot better. It is covered. One more thing I'm going to do. I don't usually see this in a lot of other places with their stuffed uh, cabbage. But my dad did it. And I believe his boucher before him did it. Which is Polish for grandmother. I am going to cover it in a layer. Well, maybe not a full layer. But I'm going to cover it in some bacon. And the, the bacon should just like help protect it. Maybe... Stop it from over, I don't know, burning maybe, like the edges of the cabbage that stick out. I'm going to get this on here, we'll be right back to the, stick this in the oven. Get these last couple of pieces of bacon on here. Um, I don't know if I believe that it's to help protect the cabbage or anything like that. I just think they like bacon, and they need an excuse to put some more bacon on it. Well, some bacon, not some more, but add bacon. Everything's better with bacon, right? Okay, so I'm going to get this into a 350 degree oven for about two hours, give or take. Probably check it at about two hours, take the cover off, let the bacon crisp up, cook for a little longer, and we'll be ready to dig in. All right, it's been out of the oven for about 15 minutes. Total cook time was two hours with the cover on, about 45 minutes with the cover off. Just to get the bacon crispy or so. I don't know if you can see. Oh man. There you go. I didn't see that. Delicious. Alright, let me grab a spoon and we'll scoop this out and we'll give it a give it a whirl. I think I'm gonna go for this one right here. Oh, it's 
smell the peppers. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, let's run this out of the way. All right, well, there's my dad's recipe. Um, stuffed cabbage, blumkies. Give it a whirl. Taste the peppers right away, and the garlic, the black pepper. Excuse me. Oh, it tastes just like when I was a kid. For you, Dad, I love you. So, no matter how you do it, if you're grilling it, smoking it, curing it, or baking it, do what you do. Take care. Mm. 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 Happy dance.